All right, here goes group one on my zero day. Steak, dough, scout, and tex. Duffy's taking them off, taking them away. All right, kids, here we are at the, where are we? Oh! Green Mountain Hostel. Yes, yeah, so we are. And what's your name? Yeah, I'm Schlepp. You're Schlepp. And what's your YouTube channel? You can find me on Big Schlepp. Big Schlepp. What trail are you hiking? I'm hiking the AT Novo. Okay, now how do you say the name of that trail if you say the full world? The Appalachian trail. Appalachian? Appalachian. I'm not from Ap Chicago, so it should Shin, be Appalachian. It's Shin, and it's not Appalachian. 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 All right, Big <laughs> Schlepp. Thanks a lot. Downtown Manchester Center, Vermont. Just went to the Mountain Goat Outfitter, got a new raincoat. They didn't have any shoes that'll work for me. That seems to be a problem. Anyhow, uh, yeah. Wanted some oboes, but uh, the oboe rep was there. But they don't have any 13s, so that's a problem. Okay, kids, here it is, the Wilson House. And this is, I'm gonna to go to a meeting in here and uh, the Wilson House Hotel even. And let's see what this place is all about. It's the birthplace of Bill Wilson, right here. Yeah, in East Dorset. Okay, kids, not, knock me over with a feather, but uh, who knew when I came here that this was all here? This is the room Bill Wilson was born in. They keep this light on all the time. Not necessarily as an eternal flame, but uh, just as a reminder, keeping the light on. Here's the town at the time. That's the Wilson house right there. That's the Congregational Church. She just confirmed the story that Big Dick B tells of uh, Bill's paternal grandfather climbing up Mount Aeolus, which is right in front here. And, uh, and that's where the cool, clean wind of the mountain blew through and through him. And then he ran down and uh, gave his life to Christ at the Congregational Church right there. So... You never know. Well, retreats here. You can stay here. Uh, and the meeting's in the back. I'm not sure. I'm not going to video the meeting room, but 
I might see if I can take a picture of part of it. All right, here are the states represented on the Appalachian Trail. All right. So I started here, West Virginia, Maryland, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York, Connecticut, Massachusetts, and Vermont. That's where I am now. Next will be New Hampshire, then Maine, then I will somehow get back to West Virginia, go through Virginia, Tennessee, North Carolina, and Georgia. Hopefully before Thanksgiving. This is a neat device. This is a boot dryer, and you really need that here, obviously where the trail is a stream and a stream is a trail and uh, and the, the shoes get really wet so uh, I mean it took about four or five hours and mine were perfectly dry so what a, what a great thing all right kids that'll do it for a zero day here at the hostel what a great place the uh, Green Mountain hiker house hostel fantastic um, took care of a lot of chores today went to town got a new raincoat uh, they didn't have shoes for me, but uh, I ordered shoes. They're going to be sent to uh, the inn at the Long Trail, well, uh, where I'm going to be in a couple days. Uh, made reservations there, uh, so I know what I'm doing over the next couple days, which is great. Uh, what else did I do? I put uh, the bug repellent on my clothes, um, <clears throat> and then went to a meeting, which was fantastic. I mean, it just blew my mind, in fact. Went to East Dorset, the birthplace of Bill W., and uh, it far exceeded my expectations, by far. Uh, the Wilson house was beautiful. It was archives. The room where Bill was born. Meeting room was incredible. Probably fits 100, 150 people. Couches and comfy chairs and all kinds of memorabilia and license plates from around the country with recovery sayings on them. Uh, great meeting. Um, great experience. Saw the mountain right across the street, Mount Aeolus, where, you know, I heard the story from B Dick B about Bill's uh, paternal grandfather having a spiritual experience on the top of that mountain, describing it as a cool, clean wind of a mountain blowing through and through. Uh, coming down off the mountain, going into the congregational church, which was right across the street, and there it was, still there, uh, man giving his life to Christ. Uh, had a profound impact on Bill, obviously, you know, uses that language and that metaphor in the big book, in his story. Um, so very, very interesting. And, you know, what's interesting about it is it sort of matched, it did match the picture I have in my mind's eye of what that looked like. The position of the mountain, kind of what the church looked like, the position of where it was. And uh, so that's kind of neat. So then came back to the hostel and uh, did a few more chores and uh, got to go to bed early because I got to get up early. I got to get up at like quarter to six because 6.30 we're hitting the road and I'm going to go do 17 and a half miles climbing three mountains. But I wanted to, I want a day where, you know, I'm going to crank it out a little bit because, uh, man, through the mud and stuff. <laughs> Anyhow, so that'll set me up good for Rutland Killington uh, doing that tomorrow. So time to go to bed. And uh, so now remember, may your eyes, and receive this blessing, may your eyes be filled with wonders, may your heart be full of joy, may your footsteps be firm as you walk with God. 
Amen.